lately we had a, uh, a presentation uh, about frictionless for the World Bank uh, fellows, and uh, uh, I created uh, this uh, data wrangling in console uh, presentation for them. So uh, currently I did uh, show you uh, this new commands as a part of this uh, like more complete uh, presentation. I think it's it makes sense. So yeah, uh, it's about frictionless framework. It's a framework for Python. And uh, lately, uh, Added a few new commands uh, for the command line, and also we're working on the like uh, on more complete uh, and recommended flow for different needs. And uh, this presentation is uh, more about uh, like data wrangling, or even more like data like exploration. If you um, have a kind of like a data set somewhere on the internet or locally. And you just uh, yeah, good. and you just uh, wanna to like quickly explore uh, the metadata, the data, the structure, the data tables. So um, here is a list of uh, commands, and uh, it uh, all of them should work like on many data sources as like local files, uh, local folders, um, databases, and uh, maybe remote published uh, data sets uh, like uh, on CCAN. And uh, for example, if it's published with data package, it will use a data package. If it's not published with data package, it will uh, infer uh, the metadata. So uh, let's start from the this um, command. And uh, it's a new command, and uh, it was added to uh, quickly see a list of uh, resources in the in in a data set. So, for example, show we have this um, Inodo data set. Show wait in a second, and. Uh, and uh, we can just get a list of available, uh, like mostly, we're mostly interested in uh, tables, but it will show, I show like other uh, data resources if, if it's provided in a data set. So let me show, it will be, we're going to work with this um, data set. It's, uh, Zeno, it's on Xenodont about uh, the sports Olympic games. So, yeah, and as you can see, it's uh, just CSV tables. Yeah, so the first command just uh, listing uh, the tables. And uh, the difference uh, is uh, the, the describe command we had, we've had like for a long time that this one is like really fast because it just uh, usually one uh, call to the, to the remote uh, uh, data publishing system. So it doesn't read like any uh, actual data. It just gets uh, like, if, if it's the CCAN, it just will do like package show, I guess, uh, API call and will show uh, the uh, resources. So uh, also there, there is a change in the command lane, uh, like by default, uh, we got like more user-friendly um, representation of data, and you can always use YAML or JSON flag to get like more technical. So um, here it's a was like list new command. Uh, the second one describe, and uh, it's uh, it's an old command, but uh, I'm just showing uh, because it's kind of like a part. It can be a part of. Uh, like uh, exploration flow. So you did uh, the list and now you're interested in describing like this, describing uh, tables, a table you're interested in. 
Wait a second. Okay, it might be like a little, little bit slow because of the video, but uh, the idea that describe also adds infer infers uh, table schemas and uh, yeah, for by default it will infer uh, a table table schemas for all the tabular uh, resources, and uh, we can also uh, add the stats flag to get uh, the stats, but it, it it can be like really uh, slow for remote resources. So here we go. Uh, we figure out that we are interested in the in the in the boxers buff box, and we can start uh, data exploration by uh, getting the uh, schema of this table. So, and also if we if we pass a YAML uh, flag, it will be just like our usual uh, YAML representation or JSON. So the next command is extract again. It's a uh, uh, it's a uh, it's, it's an old uh, command, but uh, uh, here we can just use it to um, figure out like what kind of data this uh, table has. And uh, as you can see, here is a metadata table schema, and here is an actual data a preview. This command is also uh, the same fast as described because it both use just a small uh, chunk of the data. So, but uh, you can uh, again use um, this fact, for example, YAML and provide a row limit uh, and read more data if you want. So, next command is uh, four, yeah, and here we're getting more like interesting to more interesting stuff. So, um, also, as usual in frictionless, you need to install uh, extra dependencies if you use uh, some like extra features. So in this case, we use a uh, like really cool project called Visidata. And uh, it was a long standing um, future uh, request uh, to, to get this uh, integration. And uh, Visidata is a, uh, it, it will sound weird, but Visidata is a, um, table editor in the command line, inside the command line, like Vim, but for tables. So we can just use the explore command for our boxers. And uh, yeah, here we're getting just uh, like Excel in the command line. And uh, uh, this editor is like really, uh, I think, future uh, complete and there are a lot of stuff you can do but uh, i'm not an expert so for example there is a shift f command and we can see the distribution of height of the boxers so again shift f sorry no and the main command for visit is uh, just q the uh, you need to press q and you can get out because if you don't know this command, you will like stuck there like forever. So just remember Q. And uh, and the thing that uh, currently we picked one uh, data resource, but it will take a little bit more time. Uh, but for all the commands, we can uh, apply them to. For most of the commands, we can apply them uh, on a like full data set. So if we, if we we, uh, we didn't provide this name boxers and taking a little bit more time but um, here we're getting like all the tables so we can just start exploring this as a I'm using shift F s to list the tables and uh, get like a lot of stuff you can do just votes uh, row filler and column like transformations just if you're interested try this visit data thing and I, I'm clicking Q to get out of all the like tables, and when it's done, I'll I'll get back to the command line. So um, also currently uh, the data set um, integration also uh, under development. So the same, but it will open the data set um, web application. 
Uh, the next one is a uh, query. And uh, it will put uh, a data set into a SQLite database. And uh, again, you can choose one table. You can just uh, add all of them. And uh, currently, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, might be kind of like slow, but uh, for local files, it's like quite fast because we use uh, uh, the import command of the SQLite, and it's uh, just uh, like it's really fast. Uh, the same as uh, copy command for PostgreSQL. So we're getting like everything indexed. It's a temporary database, and we can do basically everything we can do with a cloud database. For example, we can uh, save some query as a CSV file. SQLite provides this um, like mod, mod CSV, then like uh, we select like the output file, and we add headers, and uh, yeah, writing the output. It, you can find it in, in the SQLite uh, documentation, but it's quite nice if you just want want to quickly like get some query from random data set from the internet and save it as a CSV. So um, yeah, so just the table like is yours, so you can do everything here. Um, and now it's uh, deleted. If you want to preserve your uh, provide database, or if you want to use uh, like other database, you can use uh, the index command, provide uh, like I think database something, and it will index to a named database like you uh, provision uh, you prepared uh, previously, and uh, uh, you can just use it later. So if it's a, like a bigger data set and you don't want to index it like every time, you can just create uh, uh, index, create a database using uh, the index command first and then use this database, uh, for example, with the same commands or just open in a SQLite uh, editor. So, um, uh, Sarah? Uh, yes. Just yeah, just a quick check. It, it seems it's okay. You can hear me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Because I just I see my like slides, so I'm, I yeah, I try like you know check from time to time when I do presentations. Um, yeah. Thanks. So. Um, Sorry. Next can comment. I just ask you one question that has been asked in the chat? What is the minimum version of the framework for using the new commands? Um, yes. Yeah, sorry. It's a good one. Um, so, um, pom, 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 pom. it's, uh, also we got a new, uh, documentation, uh, section and, uh, hmm. I think it's not added yet, but it should be, uh, frictionless, um, uh, 5.10. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's not here. We will fix it. Yeah, also, I'm going to share the presentation. Uh, it's uh, accessible uh, from the internet. So, the next com command script. Uh, the idea is the same. You have a data set, and you'd like a quick also data exploration. It will again index uh, the data set. Uh, that's the case when you might use uh, the index command first and then do everything on already like prepared database. But uh, it's remote, but still it's a small uh, data set, so it's quite quick. And 
uh, the script will Uh, we'll create uh, pandas data frames for you. So we got here's a list. We got everything like populated and uh, our boxers. Uh, uh, why it uh, starts from AAA, I don't know. Like every table. So you're getting like just the pandas data frame instance. You can do like anything you want to this and yeah it's, uh, yeah it's it's right one it was uh, in sticker i think the average uh, hate one uh, 76 and the same in pandas and uh, you can also export as a csv whatever you want and uh, again i'm not a like a pandas expert but there are uh, on the call so you, you can use it also it's not yet implemented but of course we need to uh, like give an option to open in IPython or maybe like different uh, backends, uh, but currently it's only uh, the native Python. Uh, so also, um, yeah, there is a. I need I need to check also. There is a requirement for SQLite for some commands, but I think I, I need to also share it in the documentation. Uh, some commands require uh, SQLite starting from three dot uh, three like that uh, thirty four. But yeah, I need to check. Um, so yeah, it was it regarding like exploration commands. Also, we we just started this new convert command that can uh, convert one format into another and. Uh, Lately, I think historically, uh, the extract was used for like converting data into CSV, but uh, it was like a little bit messy because of the uh, different kind of like uh, uh, ideas of what is extract, what is conversion. So uh, we might try to uh, separate two, two things. So extract is something to get like normalized data just to explore and convert will be uh, providing like options for different uh, uh, dialect uh, settings, uh, formats, like saving, downloading. Currently it's, uh, it's uh, kind of like just in, uh, in, the be uh, in the beginning. So there is there are like uh, no option basically, but we will be adding them. And also uh, experimental command publish. So you can publish a data set to, to a second instance, just providing uh, an API key. So also like really experimental. So yeah, that's mostly it. It was about uh, command line. Of course, in Python, uh, it's possible to like do more advanced things with frictions framework and uh, uh, currently, uh, we're planning to work on, uh, on a new, like, on improved checklist and pipeline uh, features uh, to have it in version six, for example, like interactive pipelines in the console and then in the frictions application. And uh, basically, that's it regarding the new commands. Thank you.